Hi, it's Mr. Mason. I'm back with a second example of how to model a tape diagram. This time, we're going to divide a fraction by a fraction. So remember that uh, in my first example, it's always important to set this with a uh, variable. So 4 fifths divided by 1 fourth is going to equal x. And we want to take this division equation and rewrite it as multiplication. So we're going to take our divisor, which is 1 fourth, we're going to multiply that by our quotient, which was x, and we're going to come up with our dividend, which is 4 fifths. And this is what we want to make an interpretation of. So when we go to interpret this, what we really need to say, and I like to put this in parentheses right below it, that 1 fourth of, oops, that's a bad f, a number x is 4 fifths. So when we go to draw this, we'll use our tape. It's always good to use a rectangle. Rectangles are the best. And this says that we have 1 fourth. So we're going to draw force. Break it in half. Break each half in half. We have force. Uh, we'll label it. At this time, I'm not going to write labels in the whole thing. I'm just going to put them at the beginning and the end, knowing that people, sh you know, I have zero force, I have four force. One, two, and three are inside. And this represents, when I draw my bracket in, that represents my unknown, which is x, the whole thing. And I forgot one step when I started that I have one fourth, so I need to color that. Now if you look at my interpretation, one fourth of x, so I have one fourth of x is how much? Four fifths. So I could draw a bracket. I can also draw, um, you could draw a triangle as your bracket if you wanted. So this is four fifths. And this one's, this one's not too bad because when you think about it, I'm breaking four fifths into how many boxes? Just one, just the one box that's below it. So the value of this, so really if I wrote that as a division sentence, that's four fifths divided by one. And I can actually just divide across, it's going to give me four fifths. So I have four fifths. I have four fifths again. I have four fifths again. And I have four fifths again. So I have four groups of four fifths. That's, when I combine them, that's going to give me my value of x. So I could add them, 4 fifths, plus 4 fifths, plus 4 fifths, plus 4 fifths. I think it's simpler and quicker to use a multiplication. So 4 fifths times, since I have 4 groups of them, 4 over 1 is going to give me 16 fifths. I can put this into simplest form. I have uh, f 3 groups of 5 in 16. So 16 divided by 5 is going to give me 3 and 1 fifth. Now this time, and that's what x equals. x equals 3 and 1 fifth. This time I chose just to jump right in and draw my model. I think it's important though to go back and try and solve this so that we can see, I'm going to put a little line right here. If I solve this to make sure that it actually matches. So if I snuck this in over here and did the reciprocal, Four fifths, sorry my hand's in the way. And I'm just going to write the reciprocal right here. Four fifths times the reciprocal, which would be four firsts. I'd get 16 fifths. If I put that in simplest form, I have three and one fifth. So my calculation using a reciprocal matches what my tape diagram came up with. Thanks.